In this video, we're going to look at Keynote's preferences on the Mac. The preferences are where we have various settings, default settings for how Keynote behaves. Let's take a look at a few of these settings in Keynote's preferences. Let's go to my Mac. Now, one of the first things that I do when I'm working with an app is go to its preferences. I like to go through the app's preferences to set up that app the way I like to use it. And with Keynote, we have quite a few settings that we can change. So I usually will suggest it's a good idea to go through an app's preferences. So let's take a look at Keynote's preferences. The way that we get to them is we go up to our menu bar. We go up under Keynote here, and then you're going to see preferences. When I select this, we have a new window that opens up. And now I'm looking at my preferences. Now these preferences are divided into different tabs. So you're going to see I have here general preferences. I have the slideshow preferences. This is what I'm looking at right now. I also have rulers, remotes, and auto correction. So let's go through these one by one and take a look at some of the settings. I'm not going to go through all of them. There's a lot of little different settings in here, but there are some that could come in pretty handy. So I'm going to go back over to general. We're just going to start at the beginning. We can set if we want to use a theme when we create a new slideshow or a new presentation. By default, it's going to show the theme chooser. But if you have a specific theme that you always want to use, you can do that by clicking on Use Theme and then selecting the theme. Below that, we have our different editing options. Do we want to scale placed images to fit on a slide? Which means what it's going to do is fill that slide automatically. If you don't want it to do that, you can turn that off. We can have curves default to the Bezier curves. We can show smaller thumbnails in the object list. Let's go ahead and show my object list here. And when we go back over to my preferences, we can see we have a thumbnail here. Watch what happens when I show the smaller thumbnails here. It just becomes a little bit smaller. So if you have a lot of objects on your slide, you may want to show smaller thumbnails. I'm going to go back to normal size here. I can show the slide layout names, and then we can also set what our outline view font is. Below that, let's go ahead and move this up here a little bit. Below that, we can set what happens when we save, and the slide has audio and movies in it. Is it going to save it with the document? By default, this is checked on. We can also have it optimize our movies for the iPad and the iPhone automatically, as well as for older devices. And when you paste something in from YouTube or Vimeo, we can have it automatically paste as web videos. So as you can see, depending on how you use Keynote, you have a lot of tools here that could make it a little bit easier for you. Below that, we also have Touch ID. If you have a password protected Keynote presentation, you can select this to unlock it. And then we have the author and the text size. By default, it's going to enter in there Dan as the author and the text size for comments is going to be 12 points. Let's go over to slideshow here. When I'm looking at my slideshow preferences, I can set if I want to scale the slideshow to fit the display, or will it just be a fixed display or a fixed size? I can also apply motion blur to animations, enable printer display in full screen, and show the printer display window in other applications. We can show the pointer only on slides with the links or movies. If it doesn't have a link, or a movie in it, you will not see the pointer on that slide when given the presentation. If you always want to see that pointer, maybe you need to point something out, then what you can do is always show the pointer. We also have an option to show playback controls. We can show the slide navigator when scrolling. This will show a thumbnail of all of the slides when you're scrolling so you can see all of the different slides in your presentation. And then we can also allow app switching while presenting. Normally, you do not want this on, so you'll leave this unchecked. But let's say you did want to go to another app using app switching. Well, when you're giving your presentation using Keynote, it won't allow you to. If you check this, you will be able to use app switching. App switching is just command tab. When I command tab, I can easily switch between my different applications. We can also set what happens at the end of the presentation by default. 
Is it going to exit the presentation? Is it going to require a password to exit the slideshows? We also have our rulers here. With our rulers, we can set if we want to use points or we can set it for inches and centimeters. If you're used to inches and centimeters, just select it and now everything will be over in inches here or centimeters, whatever you select. We can also set if we want to show the size and position when moving objects, if we want to place the origin at the center of our ruler and display ruler units as a percentage. What color are the alignment guides? When we align different objects, we can use alignment guides to help us align those. What color are those guides going to be? You might want to change the color to make them easier to see. We can also set which guides we want to see. We have a lot of different guides that we can use. With remotes, this is where we go and add our remotes from our iPhone. I have a lesson on how to use an iPhone as a remote. This is where you go and set that up. And then we have our auto correction. Do we want it to correct the spelling automatically? Capitalize words automatically. These are both on by default, but if you want to turn that off, let's say you no longer want to have it capitalize the words automatically, just turn this off and it will no longer capitalize them. We can also set what words are going to be ignored when we have these different spelling settings on. We have our different formatting options. We can automatically detect lists. So if you start typing a list, Keynote will automatically detect that and put the bullet points in there for you. We can have it automatically linked to web pages and emails, auto play, automatically apply the link style, as well as automatically add links to phone numbers. So if you were to click on it or tap on it on an iPhone, it would automatically call that number. And then we also have different replacement options. So if I were to type the C in parentheses, what Keynote will do will replace it with the copyright symbol. Now this is not on by default, so what you'd have to do is you'd have to turn this on, and then you can use all of these different replacement. Type an R in between parentheses, and it'll put in the registered trademark. And you can even customize this by clicking on the plus and minus. So as you can see, there are a lot of different preferences in here, or settings in here, for Keynote. I would imagine that most of these you'll just leave alone, but there may be a couple of them in there that could make it a little bit easier to give your presentation or create your presentation. So again, as I mentioned in the beginning, I always like to go through an app's preferences just to take a quick look at what we can change on it. Usually with these preferences, they're global preferences, so you really only set them up once and then you never have to go back to it again. But there may be some preferences in here that could make working with your presentation a little bit easier. As an example, maybe you want to show that pointer all the time when you're giving your presentation. Well, that's located in Keynote's preferences. To access these preferences, you just go up to Keynote in the menu bar, and then you go to preferences. A new window will open up, and from there you're going to see all the different options that are available to you. You do have various tabs located across the top to help categorize these preferences or settings. So that's a look at Keynote's preferences or settings on the Mac.